In a previous video I was clumsier than I wanted to be in explaining how to find the E value in a confidence interval. This is a setup from problem number two in a web work homework. We've got a uh, mean of 43 in the original population, a standard deviation. So the distribution of sample means has the same mean as the original population and a uh, standard deviation of the sample means as the standard deviation here divided by the square root of the sample size, of course. And what we're interested in is this 92% confidence interval. So we're worried about finding this value right here, the alpha divided by 2. That means that we need to have a 0 0.04 up here. Now notice that what that says is that uh, we're going to have a 0.96 back, uh, back here. Sorry, I'm not being able to color that in. But below this value, that quantile that we're looking for, this is going to be a 0.96 back here. So finding the alpha uh, finding the z of alpha divided by 2 means to find the quantile of, of uh, 0.96 because there'll be the 0.92 here and the 0.4 here. So finding that value is very, very easy. It's just the q, q norm because of, uh, of 0 0.96 in a mean equal to 0 and a standard deviation equal to 1. Okay, Now that's telling me this distance right here in the z coordinate. So when I want to find the e up here, that's telling me the number of standard deviations away that I need to be. So what I need to have is, is that number of standard deviations times the standard deviations. Uh, 10868 divided by the square root of 50. Square root of 50. Okay, that's that's how you find the z alpha divided by 2. And uh, there's something wrong here, 0.96. Uh, let's just check and see. Copy and we want to put that in right here. Control V. Check and see if it's happy with that answer. Yeah, that's close enough to close enough to get us the right thing. All right, there you go.